Let's see. Contenido, thanks for sharing. Puts with non-farm perils, positive and back testing last night, you wild. <laughs> I know, we're snipers here though. We are snipers. And we take, what we do is we just take the level. We take the supply and demand zone when there's confirmation. We had confirmation and um, so we take the trade. Law of averages takes care of the rest. Two K losses. Oh, bro, I'm sorry. About to join, bro. Took some losses after hours on my funded account. I'm trying to pass eval. Oh, nice. We looking for more downside. We have to. I think we have to put in a, a lower low here. Games though, scalping is a different animal for sure. For sure. Nice quick win. Two quick wins. Done for the day. NVIDIA calls went crazy today. I haven't looked in NVIDIA. I need some music. I need some music going. I know a bunch of new music just dropped. Oh, hold on. Hold on. That's not copyright free. <laughs> Faux today. Look right meow. Yeah, we'll jump in and share the two the two entries. This is what's crazy. Trend day up, we're up fat just with the two entries to the downside. I was. I was listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. How'd you know? That was quick. That was really good, Darnell. Uh, Caleb says, your full strategy in the paid Discord. Caleb, um, in the paid Discord, like I teach it, the course itself is in the lifetime. If you buy the lifetime, you get that. It's a good day to buy the lifetime because I'm probably gonna stop doing the one-on-ones. I'm just getting busy. But if you bought the lifetime, you would get one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me. Um, I was willing to do that up until I got you know too busy and life is, life is getting busy. So if you do that today, I don't know how long I'll continue doing that, you'll still get the one-on-ones the -on with me. <clears throat> you get the lifetime, you get the one-on-ones, you get the course and Lifetime to the Discord. Good question. Listening to him before he got popular, I can hear the unique voice of his. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah, I'll share in one second. Let me just get this music. Um, Danny Mooney. Um, where is this? Sharing the two entries we took in one second here. Actually, you know what? Let's do this instead. I was digging this lo-fi yesterday. What broker are you using? I'm trying to trade SPY, but nothing is working. I use Ninja Trader. How much, coach? Angel, if you check the link in my bio, uh, where it says mentorship and this premium discord. It's all in there. Take my ideas. Thanks for the follow Tesla, Matt Gomez. All right. We got some questions. All right. People keep saying the video. Let me just pull it up for the talk. Wow. Yeah. It's going crazy. Sheesh. Anybody take calls last night? <laughs> Huge. Huge idea. All right, so the two trades that we took on the S&P 500, these, each of these trades were um, about six points each on ES. If you look at options, that's good for about at least 50%, depends what expiration you're using. Um, this is the exact strategy that I teach in the course. Everything that we have here was taught in the course. Um, and called out in the premium discord. Actually, today's free Friday. So if you're in the free part of the discord, you got all of this today anyways. So full transparency, you can join today and see this is how we work. This is what we do every day. So first things first, we had a supply zone here. Right, this is previous demand. I need to change the colors here. We'll swap the colors because we broke underneath it. We broke underneath this in the pre-market. 
when you break a, a demand zone, it becomes supply and then it'll switch, right? But this is what we what happened overnight. Here is the, uh, this is the previous demand zone. We break through that overnight. This was then turned supply. So what did we do when we, when we saw this? This was at market open right after, not really what I like to trade, but awesome reversal candle. Awesome reversal candle here. With good volume, of course, it's at the market open and mixed with order flow, we saw a large sell and balance on that candle. Two minute went crazy as well. Let me see if I can show you the two minute. The two minute was really telling on this. Here is, oh, this is the five. Hold on one second. Let me swap this over to the two. Beauty. Here is your doji candle on the two minute with also solid volume is enough for me to go short as soon as we tested the top of this supply zone. Rode this down. Six points, beautiful winner, nice scalp to begin the day. You wouldn't have gotten 50% no way. I would beg to differ. I'll pull up the options in a second, but especially at market open, when you take a trade like that, that moves quick. The volatility would have made the option spike. Then the second trade, we pushed up strong here. And again, we're watching volume. That's always the second confirmation, price action, volume, uh, and order flow. Here's the five. We push up aggressively after news, showing deceleration with the five minute here. And as we continue to approach, this is a massive, massive level. This is a daily supply zone. So this area, we knew this was gonna be a key level and we watch for reactions at key levels. That the two minute mixed with the five. Look at how much volume came in on this two minute candle here. This is a really solid reversal candle with tons of volume here. See how much volume came in on that? Definitely enough to go short, write that down. I knew this was gonna be a scalp at least to the nine EMA because we were just so strong and we had a fair value gap, nine EMA here. We exited right at the bottom, it was beautiful. Beautiful. Where do I find info to join? Uh, user 969, just go to the link in my bio. Go to the link in my bio, it's right in there. Let me check YouTube here, we're good. Hello everybody on YouTube, hello, hello. Randall, thanks for the follow. <clears throat> you looking for any traders to join the Discord and send call outs? I haven't even thought about it, to be honest, Danny. I haven't thought about it. No limits, thanks for the follow. Check out gold, yeah, we can check out gold. I hope that makes sense though. Two plays, both using supply and demand. Um, exactly what we wanted to see. If you're on YouTube, look at this imbalance again on this drop. My entry would have been higher here, so I'm not going short, but aggressive sell imbalance continues. Two minute volume crazy again. If it wasn't for this fair value gap, I probably would have gone short. This is why supply and demand works. People wonder why we take the entries in the areas that we do, but these are big areas of institutional order flow. This is where big institutions will come in and place their trades. It doesn't matter if we think the trend's up or down, <laughs> their money moves the markets. So we just wanna ride. We just wanna ride catch a piece of their pie. We don't have to catch all of it. We just watch for their hints, wait for price action to react to it. And when they show themselves, that's when we jump in and take the trades. And that's why we do what we do. Thing is cooking. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is for real. For real. When everybody thinks we're going up, it, we're usually gonna do the opposite. When everybody thinks we're gonna go down, 
We usually do the opposite. You got to watch out. Watch these big areas, key areas. So we said to look at gold. Kelly, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow. Um, pull this up here. Sheesh, she's cooking. Um, all right. Take calls here, says Danny. We are in this fair value gap. I like it. Maybe at VWAP is what where I would watch. I'm up big on the day, so I'm not I'm not looking to give gains back. Especially on a Friday. It's been a great start to the year. Break been a great week. Um, how many tr people are making thousands from day trading when it's only going up a few cents in dollars? Brent, if you're trading futures or options, those cents and dollars turn into hundreds and thousands. Yeah, just, I mean, just this move, just as an example, right? This move six points, each of these did. If you take one ES contract on that, an ES contract moves $50 per point. That's a $300 move with just one contract. You trade multiple, you can trade multiple contracts too. So just to put it in perspective, Bull Float says, bro, I've lost over two grand this week. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry, Bull Float. Check out the YouTube. I'm posting free free content over there. If you're looking for structured learning, check out the link in my bio where we call out every trade. We share our learnings um, on the daily. My whole goal is to help traders become profitable faster and independently. Wall Street Lion, thanks for the follow. So XBS kind of preluded the spy drop. Um, I don't know about that. It moved exactly the same. I have some levels on SPX. I wasn't watching zones on it though. I'm looking to full port. <laughs> no full porting, Darnell. <laughs> Tesla, Jacqueline, Ducky. You think the past two, three years have been the toughest to trade? Absolutely, Rory. Very difficult. Especially comparative to um, like 2020. Kyle, appreciate the follow. Ducky, thanks for the follow. Um, <clears throat> what are we gonna do here? I'm only four full ports away from being a millionaire. <laughs> this is a lie. Darnell, our resident full porter. We need to create a channel for you just on your full port entries. <laughs> Nicole, thanks for the follow. User337, thanks for the follows, y'all. Thanks for the follows. If you want to be homies, go check out the YouTube. Posting free content on there. Long form. Alex, I put my email twice this week. Two different emails and never got the email back for Discord. Uh, it might be in your uh, might be in your spam. Send me a DM as well, Caleb. That's crazy. We'd love to talk to the SEC because we'd get rich so quick. Aaron, let's go. 50K funded account has been achieved. Huge win. Let's go. Everybody clap for Aaron. That's amazing. I'm pinning that. I'm pinning that comment. Aaron's in the Discord. Mentorship uh, member. member been, been in the Discord since the jump. It's awesome, Aaron. What platform do you enter your trades? I use Webull. I use NinjaTrader. Oh, Mac Gumas is not like Spy. That's what we trade over here. Watch out. <laughs> you might want to find another trader, but we trade Spy every day. Nicole, thanks for the likes. Kiev, appreciate the follow. Yup, love it. Bull float saying congrats. Aaron, thanks for the likes. That bearish wedge, I caught the move. Beautiful, baby. I love that. Love to see the gang winning. Let me get the profit I need. Huge, huge. If anybody else is looking to get funded, like Aaron. Aaron, did you use Apex Trader funding? That's what I'm funded on as well. Um, they're doing a 70% off sale right now if you want access to that. Link for that is also in that link in my profile bio. 
What order flow platform is that? That is Ninja Traders order flow, like a footprint chart. Cool, using Top Step. Yeah, I hear great things about Top Step. Hear great things about it. So we've got a mix of big buyers and sellers down here. If you're on YouTube, you can see on this 920 candle, 2100 lots, 1700 lots to the buy side. Looks like we're trying to push up right now. Can we get some copyright free Minecraft music? I don't even know what that is. I mean, I know what Minecraft is, but <laughs> that's funny. Man, I would love to learn and earn and not get burned. Having no luck. So many people scamming FMG TV. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, FMG TV. Yeah, check out the YouTube if you like some of that content. Um, I have a full blown course that teaches a strategy. It teaches exactly how we caught these two trades today. Six points each, 100% on options. Um, and we called those out. You can actually see them if you join the free part of the Discord. But we do this every day in the premium side. We share every entry, every exit. We'll show you here, we'll give a little preview. This was just from the free Friday today. Here, move this over here. Insight into the Discord, right? So premium members get this daily watch list and trading floor every day. Um, but the free Friday, right? You get everything that paid members get. This one, oh, sorry, I said six points on the second trade, it went 10, it was huge, nuclear, nuclear. And I share my commentary. So the whole goal is to give you the course, right? Teach you these things teach you what we're watching. Here's the watch list. A, and these plays came from the watch list, by the way. Teach you with the course, and then you can see it in real time with the Discord. And you can take trades, I guess, with me too, if you want. But the goal is independent education. And we'll be doing, a, it's a good time to get in on that because we're doing one-on-ones for a little bit longer for those that are lifetime members. <clears throat> Carol, appreciate the follow, 465P, end on day, says Matt. Matt thinks we're, we're nuking down. Yeah, Caleb, you can purchase the course. Yep, you can purchase it. It's a, it's like, it's a little bit more, a tiny bit more for the lifetime. It's more worth it in my opinion, but whatever you, whatever you prefer. That midpoint sweep, A plus entry works in profit almost every time, says Aaron. Yeah, that is a killer, killer strategy. My bread and butter. My bread and butter. I dubbed it the midpoint sweep. That's in the course. Had minus 10% of my port today and brought it back to even. Nice, Blake. That's huge. So thoughts on the market. Let's zoom out a little bit. And we had some questions about that. We had this, uh, we're really like downtrending overall. If you look from the broader perspective, the last couple days, it's kind of mixed, right? We're in, a, we're in a much broader uptrend since October. If you're looking like weeks, days, you start to zoom in on the hourly time frame, starting to break down a little bit. And it looks like we're trying to continue this move up. This is a daily zone here. This is green, I need to switch the color. But this is a daily now supply zone, now that we've broken out of it. And that's why we're rejecting this area as a key level. Key level here. We could very well continue further down. And a supply zone is just where big players in the markets, banks, institutions, have previously placed trades and it moves so quickly that there's leftover orders, leftover large orders there. That's why supply and demand works because it's where the big, big orders are at. And that's what moves the markets. This is the move we wanted originally actually.
see how we react at VWAP. What's January looking like on SPY? In your opinion, I'm not a swing trader, Blake. Um, yeah, my edge is scalping and, uh, you know, quicker, quicker trades. So I'm open that, you know, I'm not a big, I'm not a big swing trader. Um, as far as January, you know, if I were to analyze it, you know, we're, we're starting to push down. We had a reversal candle on the weekly and depending on how we close today, this looks like we could head further down from a big area. So, um, how much is your course? If you check the link in bio, there's a couple different packages. Just check in that, just go where it says premium, uh, discord and course. Um, and I start to explain it there. Can you explain why the green area is a big supply zone? Yeah, absolutely. This is gonna look ugly for a second. Since I scalp, we got a lot of stuff on the charts, <laughs> but okay. So this is the area, this is the area that you were asking about, Wall Street Lion, between these two orange levels. Okay, I use the daily and the 16 hour to find daily supply zones. Those are the bigger, broader areas. So if we zoom out, let's move all the way over here. What was that level? Let me just confirm. Around 471, okay. Come all the way back here. It's the last time we were here. <laughs> you gotta go way far back. Here we go, here we are. This is where that demand zone started. If you wanna look on your own charts, this is, you can see it on the 16 hour easier, 13th of January, 2022, you can see that here. And what we look for with supply and demand, here's a supply and demand lesson. If you're looking to find supply and demand zones, where the big institutions are placing their trades, if you wanna trade with them, this is how you find them. You look first for an aggressive move up or down. So if you look at this chart up here, where is the aggressive move down? It's here, right? We have this aggressive move. If we walk this back up, we look for the area where we change directions right here. That's a pivot high. And the basing candle, we look for a basing candle that's the opposite direction of the move. This move is down. My candles are gray when they move down. So the opposite candle is the green candle, top of the wick, bottom of the body. That's how we draw that zone. We'll zoom in on it so you can see here. That is your zone. And I'm gonna change the color now because it's currently, should be red currently. Right, so it's a supply, it's a daily supply zone now. I hope that helps. Quick lesson on supply and demand. And then of course we've got another one further up here. Uh, we just didn't have a clean basing candle so it's, I drew it on the hourly, on the daily. <clears throat> it's also our all-time high, I believe. All right, let's take a look here. Do you do options? I do futures. I do futures. Let me zoom back in here. Can you do a quick explanation of the footprint chart? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And so for those that are on YouTube, you can see this. Um, <clears throat> the footprint chart, we're gonna move this over for a second. The footprint chart shows, this is ES you're watching, right? So this is SPY futures, ES futures. And this is actually just a candlestick chart. You can see it's a five minute, they call it a volumetric chart, footprint chart, they're synonymous really. It's just a candlestick chart. You can see the candle body here, and then where there's no candle body, that's actually your wick. So this is these are just candles that you're looking at. But what you're, these numbers that you're seeing on the inside, these are orders that are hitting the bid and the ask, the aggressive market orders that are selling on the left, buying on the right-hand side. Very useful to see how the aggressive buyers and sellers are reacting to the market. We look for aggressive sellers or buyers pushing the market in their direction or for them to be trapped. And that allows you to see where the aggressive buyers and sellers are. Um, used both used order flow on both of these trades here. TX Vet, thanks for the follow. 
Wall Street, you bet. You bet. Is it continue to go? Going to continue to go down? It could. This is such a big level. We'll see. the The macro trend is up. Um, we might be trying to do that now. So it's kind of conflicted here. I'm not looking to make a prediction. I only react to the market. Are you selling? Not anymore. I'm I'm up pretty big just from these two trades. This was a 10 point winner. This was a six point winner. Meltem, thanks for the follow. Great questions, y'all. Good educational Friday. Great questions. Matt says, how do you trade what you are? Um, what do you mean, Matt? What do you mean by that question? Can you check the Discord post a question that would be fire to answer on here? Yes, for sure. For sure. Darnell says, typing here because TikTok won't allow me to say this much. Remember a couple days ago when you gave the idea of taking equal calls and put options, can you hit on that a little more? I just want to see if I understand what you're talking about. This is on 12-28-23, by the way. Absolutely. Yeah, so I had a call out um, that went 200% at the end of the day during the algo. Um, let's go back to, let's go back to the 28th. All right, so I called this move to the upside. The entry was right here. Uh, no, sorry. It might have been on the next one. Was it the 28th or the 27th, Darnell? Yeah, the 28th. That's why. Yep, here, let me show you why. Sorry, I was off. So it was 10 minutes before the market ended. And <clears throat> what we do here is, this is called a straddle, where you buy equal calls, equal puts in an area. The closer the expiration, I think the better. Um, so a one data expiration, two or zero data expiration. And <clears throat> we buy this, it works. I mean, the idea behind it is when you have consolidation for at least an hour or more prior to this period happening. Usually you get some expansion at the end of the day where an algorithm step in, um, you know, banks, bigger players trying to balance their books. And so if you have that consolidation, you can usually get a big move. Do we know which way it's gonna go? Not necessarily. So you buy equal calls, equal puts. The idea is, Anything that's over 200% on one side um, is pure profit. Or sorry, over 100% on one side is pure profit. Because one will, one will decrease, and if you let it, it'll go to zero because it's the end of the day. Then you, you want to go take the other one to 200%, 300%. Anything over that is pure profit. This one went 300%. So you, you uh, subtract that 100% loser, and you have 200% profit. It's called a straddle. Where do you get the order flow chart? That is on Ninja Trader. Yeah, it's Ninja Trader's order flow. How did you get those zones? Uh, supply and demand. Yep, supply and demand is the key. I teach that all in the course, how to find them, what to look for. I use hourly and daily demand and supply zones. Emmanuel, thanks for the follow. TikToker says, I made my very first trade today and it was profitable. All thanks to Astonishing Alex with Minor Growth. <laughs> Appreciate you. That's Blake. That's my man, Blake. <clears throat> yeah, congrats on the first green trade. First trade and it was green. Huge. It's amazing. Can you trade ES on TD Ameritrade? Absolutely. Yeah, I believe you can. I've seen people do it. Not that I personally trade on it. I think their commissions are really high. <clears throat> I would use a trade of aid or ninja trader or amp I hear is great too. Morty J, thanks for the follow. Alicia, thanks for the follow. Dane says, how far back do you go for the zones? The more recent ones are more relevant, but if you're in areas where there's no supplier demand zones, um, you have to go, you know, you might have to go far back. 
So like this zone up here was way back from 2022. Michael, thanks for the follow. Darnell in Discord, you got it. Yeah, you bet. You bet. Was anybody here for the live yesterday? Caught a fat trade yesterday. Over 10 points. It actually continued to go too. We caught the top up here. I think we, we re-entered, we got in and out. We were out up here, re-entered here. This sucker tanked. I took it for 10 points down. I think it was to this candle. And uh, man, could have had a runner. I mean, we caught the top yesterday. Just continue to nuke down. It would have been a huge trade, but I'm more than happy with 10 points. <laughs> um, are you live trading right now? Uh, I'm happy to give commentary. I'm up pretty big on the week. It's Friday. I'm not looking to give gains back, so I don't know if I'll trade, if I'll take any more trades. Pegasus Holmes, thanks for the follow. Hey, on the trade you caught today for 10 points down, what was the catalyst? It was this. It was actually this same zone that we played yesterday here. Um, this, uh, it was confluent with SPX's 4,700 as well. If I remember correctly. Let me take a look here. Sorry, that was this trade that went for six points. The second one was just a daily supply zone with good price action and order flow that stepped in for that move down. My apologies. That data that came out today crushed my puts. Oh, I'm sorry. I was actually in a trade. We were up two points right here. It was set at break even, so it just stopped me out as we moved up. So I feel that. You trade on the five minute? Um, yes, five, two, and 15. How'd you learn all this, bro? Lots and lots of time and learning. Caleb, I'm up in my 10,000 hour. Um, I've like put in about 10,000 hours at this point. I went, when I went full-time trading, it was, uh, it was brutal. I went full-time way too early. I was not consistent. It was not profitable yet. And uh, I wasn't willing to lose. Um, so I was putting in 14, 16 hour days, back testing, trying to train my brain. And I did everything, discords, courses, you name it. <clears throat> if price broke that zone, what made you short Wall Street Lion? Do you mean how these wicks went above this zone? Is that what you're asking for, Wall Street Lion? If so, that's textbook false breakout. You know, price tried to push up here, but we couldn't. What are you thinking it's going to be? Uh, what do you mean, Michael? Do you think we fall for the rest of the day? If we break VWAP, that's the first breakdown. Then we come down here to 468.29, I think. And below that, it's the next level down. Reynando, appreciate you being back here. Thanks for the gifts. How much is an ES contract? I think you need with NinjaTrader $500 of margin. Dude, I saw that data hit the dollar like one second before US 30 and got into a buy. Nice, Cooj. Dang, 10K hours. How much did you lose at first? A lot. <laughs> a lot, man. Too much. Luckily, I had a, a little nest egg. I had a nice career in sales. So I had some good savings. About 1,000 hours and nowhere near you. That's crazy. It comes with time. No, it comes with time. Can you explain briefly order flow charts? Yes, we were just talking about that actually. These are the orders that are hitting the bid and the ask. Aggressive sellers, aggressive buyers. Um, Reynando, gifting again. Hey, for those, for big supporters, Reynando, I, I appreciate that. Um, if you're looking for more formal mentorship, DM me, I'll give you a discount on the, uh, the course, the the Discord. If that's of interest at all to you, 
Just DM me. <clears throat> KLB, appreciate the follow. I mean the trade yesterday. Oh, yes. So we did start to break above it. But that's why a zone, that's why we call them zones and not levels. Right? So anywhere in this area, you know, you can keep watching it higher. Anywhere in that area could have been solid for a an entry short. We were just waiting for price action to react to the zone. So we started to get the reaction first with this five minute candle with lots of volume, right? This is a reversal candle. Look at the volume there, a lot of volume. And the candle before it, if you watch some of the smaller time frames, this had a lot of selling in it as well. That's why order flow is so important and that's why volume is so important because you can see, regardless of what the candles look like, you can see if there's buyers or sellers, you know, inside of them. Old media, thanks for the follow. Um, all right, here we go, catching up. If yeah, it does. You bet, you bet, Reynando. Yeah, just send me a DM, I got you after this. How much money should a beginner start with? Um, beginners should start with the amount of money that you're willing to lose. Because you're gonna lose at the beginning, you gotta find your strategy. So whatever that, that amount is, I say it's like you know 50 bucks, $100 just to start playing with. Don't talk about Tesla, I hate it at the moment. Lol, news are good and it goes red. <laughs> I hate Tesla too, bull float, it's on my no trade list. Did you ever lose hope on your trading journey? Caleb, absolutely. Yeah, I think that's part of the game. It's really, really hard. You appreciate the follow. Lunch hour coming up, I'm done for the day. Yeah, same, about 13 minutes. I'm borderline losing hope about trading. I'm sorry to hear that, bull float. I'm sorry to hear that. Focus on the education, size down. That always helped me. Only got puts right now, hope it goes red. The VWAP is the only thing holding us up right now. Do you always zero DTE? Uh, LaFly, I trade futures, so I don't, mine don't have expirations. Cooch, how much importance do you put on 15 minute supply and demands? Those are mostly one hour, four hour, one day. <clears throat> um, I, I ideally want hourly, or sorry, daily first, then hourly. Anything below that, I don't give as much stock. Yeah, I think there's a lot of, there can be fake outs. If there's nothing close by, I'll look at a 30 minute, but that's about it. Wall Street Lion says, love the way you explain. We'll look into your course. Appreciate you, Wall Street Lion. Thanks for answering all my questions. You got it. How do you choose what to trade daily? Um, it's JT. I've always been trading the S&P 500, so I actually just trade that. Yep, we snipe on the S&P 500 daily. And how did you choose a strategy that works for you? It's JT, I tried so many different strategies um, <clears throat> and I somebody gave me the advice or I read it somewhere, I can't remember, that I had to focus, there's VWAP break, big sell and balance if you're on YouTube, by the way, you can see that. 1700 lots that just came in here. Dang, that's the move we wanted earlier, that's okay. But I tried so many different strategies and I eventually found that advice was focus on one. Focus on one strategy. We're coming down to this 468.65 if we hold under this. And <clears throat> when you do that, a lot of people will just watch a million different videos on different strategies, but think about it like sports. I have an athletic background, right? And if you play basketball, you can't just sit there and watch the NBA, watch coaches teach on video. You have to go and do it. And you have to practice the same move, same shot over and over and over again. It's the same thing with trading. Get your move, find your strategy, practice it over and over and over again. If you play sports, there's always something, something in particular that you're good at. Maybe you're really good at going to the basket. Maybe you're great at defending. Whatever that is, you will have your edge in trading. You gotta find that edge and double down on it. And that's how you get real, uh, real profitability and independence.
<clears throat> Paper trading, convince your mind it's real money. That's what I did. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a great, great way to go. I think eventually you need like money to feel the emotions, but great to get to know your broker. Great to, you know, get to know the strategy. What type of computer do you need? And can you show your setup? Yeah, absolutely. So this is my monitor. I think it's a 46 or so. We're cut off here because YouTube can't, you know, you can't see the uh, the rest on YouTube. And it's on this on this laptop, so I can go mobile if needed. You don't need a lot. Yeah, you don't need a lot. What trading strategy do you use? Supply and demand. Supply and demand and confluence. Bearish or bullish today? We'll see. We'll see. You the man, Alex. Thanks, Cooch. The way you talk about futures is tempting. <laughs> it's It made such a big difference when I switched over from options. I think it's so much easier than options bull float. Um, one way to try it out is just to go get a funded account with Apex Trader funding. You can probably do it with as little as like 30, 40 bucks and they give you access to the broker as well, which normally costs money. Um, they give you access to Ninja Trader or Trade of Eight. Use that code in my bio, you'll get 70% off of those. Why'd you decide to battle, to settle on futures, says Brandon? Uh, there's no Greeks. Yeah, the options Greeks that affect your volatility, your time decay, you don't gotta have any of that. Where do you see those order charts? Ninja Trader. What application is that and is it paid? Is it different than level two? Yes, Cooch. Yep, so it's on Ninja Trader, costs about 40 bucks a month, or if you get the lifetime package with Ninja Trader, um, they throw it in. That's what I did. They throw it in at no extra cost. Tons of different sources you can go for it though. Bookmap is really popular. <clears throat> Y'all see the JPOW news, more red it seems. Oh, really, Bullfloat? I have not looked at the news. What platform is this? This is, right now what you're looking at is TradingView. But I trade on NinjaTrader. You can trade ES on Thinkorswim. There's futures trading platforms like Tradevate, uh, NinjaTrader. Just getting started, how do you get around the PDT restrictions? Steve, what's your broker? You may be able to switch over to a cash account. Why is it easier? I've heard that everywhere. Yeah, no Greeks, Blake. No Greeks. Luca, what's up? Haven't seen you in a minute. What's going on? Good to see you here. Hello, hello. <clears throat> Thanks, you got it. How much do you need to be able to trade futures? I actually just made a video on that. Um, if you go a couple videos back, Code Vibe on my TikTok. Uh, or I think my Instagram has it too. YouTube does as well. But um, $50 for a micro ES contract, $500 for an ES contract, code vibe. Could we see a midpoint sweep here? Ooh, I was watching this earlier. I was watching this earlier. Here's one of my favorite plays here. Very good risk reward. Very simple. We gotta come down a little bit more for ES. I'm gonna guess that's the same for SPY. Yeah, this 467.53 level, it's right there. This is a high confluence level. We come down to here, this, is, this would be a nice long entry. <clears throat> Excuse me, I believe. You got a 50% retracement. You got the bottom of this zone, now turn demand and the previous day close, big levels, big levels. Oh, my comments just got messed up. B60, appreciate the follow. Where should I DM you, brother? Uh, anywhere, Reynaldo, thanks for the rose again. <laughs> um, TikTok or Instagram, either way. What does a cash account do, says Elmer. So there's two different types of accounts you can have, a, and this is with uh, 
Thinkorswim, Webull, your typical um, brokers where you can trade stocks, you can have either a cash account or a margin account. A margin account requires you to have 25,000 in the account to be able to take you know, as many day trades as you would like. If you sink below that, you're hit with something called the pattern day trade rule, um, which is just a regulation uh, that was put out there, which says that you can't take more than three trades within a five day, five day period. The way around that is you can trade futures. Futures have no pattern day trade rule. Um, and, or I should say, if you switch from a margin account to a cash account, um, then you can have under 25,000 and you can trade as much up to the cash in your account. Wall Street Lion says, where can I find your course? Is that link in my bio working? It was not working, but Wall Street Lion, if you go to that link in my bio, that should have it. So if you just go to my profile, um, go to my profile, it should have it right there. Direct.me slash mind your growth, I think is the, is the, uh, URL for it. I'm going to test it, make sure it's working because it was not working yesterday. Pretty annoying. Um, is futures Forex? It's not Mike. No, it's not. Can you just buy options with less than 25 K only if you have a cash account? Yep. Only if you have a cash account. Futures, it doesn't matter. Here's here's what that link looks like. For anybody else that's wondering how to get to this area. Um, it'll take you to this. You're about to open a link. And then premium discord and mentorship. This is where all that information is. You can hit this button right now. Apex Trader Funding is having a 70% off deal right now. Um, hit that, you get 70% off of any funded account, <clears throat> the evaluation part of it. In futures, if I want to trade micro, can I trade $200 but need $50 margin? So a total of $250. Um, so if I understand your, your question, Code Vibe, yes. You need $50 of margin to take one MES contract. It depends on the broker, but I believe Ninja Trader allows that. So you can say trade SPY Unlimited with a margin account. You can, Elmer. Yeah, but you just need over 25000 in a margin account. With futures, it doesn't matter. All the indicators you use are on the screen, correct? It's JT, yes. Yeah, 9 and 20 EMA and VWAP. And then this is just a standard volume indicator that I changed the colors on. You could call this an indicator. It's technically a chart, but yeah, it's pretty much it. AFS, what's up? I recognize your name too. What's going on? It's going great today. We had two killer trades. This one went for 10 points. This one alone is probably 80, 90% winner. If you took it with options, this was a, a six point trade. Probably 50% on that one, depending on the expiration. Unstoppable, thanks for the follow. Would it be smart if I go into a sell right now for the S&P? I think if we can break below, the only thing I don't like about that is VWAP right, now, right here, right? It's kind of 50-50 right now. And this this candle had, had okay volume. If you wanna do it, I think your risk reward is gonna be a little lower than I would personally like, because this is a big level down here and your stop loss would have to be above VWAP. Is it hard to pass the funding challenges? Depends what your strategy is and if you have really tight risk reward. Yeah, if, you are, if you're consistent already, and you have tight risk reward, uh, it's totally possible. You're looking for shorts or longs right now. Not anything. Yeah, we took two killer trades today, so I'm, I'm just chilling. Um, would it be smart to go into a sell right now for the S and P? Totally up to you. 
Uh, nice, good deal. Stay patient and take the pretty ones. Yes, for sure, AFS. So you use Sierra Charts. Mine's on Ninja Trader. Yeah, Sierra Charts is another place you can go for uh, for the footprint charts. Popio says, do you trade credit spreads? I'm not. No, I'm not trading credit spreads. Interested in them though. <clears throat> No live trades today, asked Peter. We did on the Discord. It was free Friday. I don't know if you were in there, Peter. We caught, called these two out um, for free Friday. So everybody got a little taste of those. But I'm, I'm up pretty big and it's a Friday. So I don't want to give my gains back. Yeah, I saw those. Nice, Peter. Do you think I should sell my current trade till it reaches the day end? What was your entry, Ethan? Alex, you should do an options trade one day just for the heck of it. <laughs> you know? Ugh. Maybe. Maybe. Just take one one call or put. I still have some money in my Weeble account, honestly. So we could. Full port amigo. <laughs> oh, no. Peter, my guy, New York accent. Can you recommend a video to learn futures, how it works? Just trade options, would like to learn futures. Chico, look at my TikTok like a couple a couple uh, videos back, maybe like four videos back. I talk about what you need, what brokers to look at. <clears throat> Andreas asking if you should enter 10-ish minutes ago. Um... I think I think if we break this down, we're coming down here to 468.30. I still stand by that. We've held under it once, tried pushing back up and couldn't. I think this is where we're headed next, 468.34. Maybe a little bit before, but... <clears throat> 468.90. Yeah, so right up here. I think we have a little bit more. You could trim some here though, for sure. Are you selling options? I'm not. I'm not selling options. Yeah, we just trade futures over here. How low today, says HH Garden. <clears throat> so this is the next stop here. I think we either bounce here, if we don't, and we're, then we're headed down to 460, 461. This is a big level on ES here, just a couple points down, 4739. So we're, we're getting close to some levels. I didn't realize this was that close actually, but this is a big, this is a big level for sure. ES's VWAP is just right here too. I've had this 468 65 level from this morning and we can't break it, shaking my head. <laughs> Hopefully we head down to 464, lol. <laughs> we are reaching a level. How can you set stop losses on options trades on Robinhood? I am not sure, Ethan. It's a good question. Simone on YouTube says, why are we looking at SPY? This is what we trade every day over here. Yeah, I know a lot of people are not fans of um, SPY, but that's what we trade. Caught two killer trades. Two killer trades to the downside today. We're up big, it's great. Jennifer Sanders, thanks for the follow. User 214, thanks for the follow and share. Why do you trade both Spider and S&P? So I trade, the instrument that I trade is ES Futures, which moves just like, just like the S&P 500. But I watch SPX, ES, and SPY because they all work together. 
Simone trades NQ. Nice, nice. Well, appreciate you being here, Simone. I'm trying to get into NQ a little more. Israel, appreciate the follow. Let's see if there's any passive orders down here. Let's take a quick look. You got some orders for sure. How big are these? Wow. You got a lot of buy orders down here. 4739 area. Yeah, which is that daily daily zone. Watch out down here. We don't know if these are buy, if these are aggressive or sorry, excuse me. We don't know what these limit orders are, right? They're just sitting down here on the market depth map. So 4739, 4738, 500 lots, 400 lots. A lot of big orders down here. <clears throat> SPX 4700 key level. Yeah, this is actually in conjunction. This is why we took the trade earlier. Renando, thanks for the gifts again. Appreciate you. Houston, Texas. Good morning, traders. What's up? What's up? Justin, thanks for the follow. <clears throat> I'd watch here for, for longs. Looks like we're tapping into these big orders. Let me move this out of the way. If you can get aggressive buyers to step in too, for those that are on YouTube. Looks like aggressive sellers trying to push us down. H-Town, how long have you been trading for? Three years. MGZJ, thanks for the follows. Trading doing better than your sales jobs. The um, the reason I got into it originally was time, because I can trade for you know an hour and a half, two hours in the morning, and then I'm good. That was and that's what got me into trading originally, and that is absolutely uh, better. It was at first, at first we had a lot of a lot of big losses. I will say we're consistent, profitable now though, thankfully. Um, all right, eating up those orders. If you were on TikTok looking at these orders before, looks like we tried to eat them up. Let's see if we liquidity sweep this area. Can't win if you don't lose, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Volume coming in. Volume coming in. Look at that. Look at that. Big push down. Yeah, they might have been cells. That's why we always say we don't know. We are now five points under 4,700. Crazy, crazy. Yes, I need it. <laughs> nice bull float. Holy, yup. It's approaching the midpoint sweep area. Should we hold it? This is gonna be a big area down here, 467.34. We're approaching it very quickly. Yeah, I would get out if we were, or I would trim heavily once we get to this point. If that's in your strategy, that's how I would manage it. Sheesh. That's the move we wanted originally when we got on, on in on this trade. This would have gone for 30 points. Look at that injection of volume here. Volume's going nuts. Let's go, 460 soon. <laughs> Hitting previous day close on ES here and the 50% retracement on ES. <clears throat> Man, where were the people talking about not going short? 
Same thing happened yesterday. There's always somebody, there's always somebody in the comments that wants to hate on supply and demand. <clears throat> this is why we trade with the institutions. This is perfect example. Retail traders can't move the markets like this. These are big institutions that are pushing the market around with big orders. Andreas, Jack, XTN, thanks for the follow. We teach all this in the course, all this in the lifetime uh, membership. I also give one-on-one -on -one mentorship for folks that go with the lifetime. Link for that's in my bio. I'm do only doing one-on-ones for a little bit longer. So if you're interested in that, now's a good time to get in on it. Calls now to where? Uh, Reynando, I would want to see big orders come in for sure because this was just such an aggressive push to go long. Um, but if you're looking long, I would want to see big volume come in. Like I wouldn't be entering anything right now. I'm going to head out. Y'all be safe in this war zone. Darnell, have a great weekend, buddy. We'll see you in the Discord, fam. Dang, I need that short you use, man. <laughs> they, uh, <clears throat> yeah. It, they do stream it live on YouTube. Um, if you just YouTube uh, book map, yeah, book map stream. I think it's got it. What's the yellow line in EMA level? That's VWAP. VWAP. Mama Fergie. Yeah, Bookmap also has the order flow, uh, Reynando. If you're looking for it. It's somewhat of a bounce. We like it. It's healthy. I hope everyone makes money when I need red. <laughs> a true homie there. Yeah, I'm done today. 400 on puts. Can't hold anymore. Nice, Sean. Killer. Congrats on the green. Love it. Cancel. Maybe. What I don't like about this bounce so far, if you look at the two minute over here, see the decrease, I don't know if you can see that on TikTok, decreasing volume as we push up. Typically you want volume in your direction. Volume price analysis key. The fly, 2K on that downtrend. Thanks for the positivity and education as always. You got it. You got it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for saying that. That honestly is exactly the reason why. I don't get it anymore. Um, <clears throat> like the good feelings that I get from trading are not the good feelings that I get from helping other people. And that's why we're on here every day. When I was in sales, I was a sales manager, was managing a big team, coaching day in and day out. I love that stuff. So uh, <clears throat> appreciate that. Appreciate that. You're gonna make me cry, bro. Stop. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <clears throat> Why did our music stop? Popio, it's been a good day. Yeah, it's been a good day. We're up around 9% on the portfolio. <clears throat> We entered both trades today with size and they both went crazy. 10 point winner, six point winner. Do you trade off big news at all? Just um, only after the dust settles. Like I'll trade FOMC. But waiting till the dust settles after. You think the Fed speaker will push or dump the market, oh, you never know, Chris. That's the thing about news, trading news. And that's why I don't trade news. That's why it's JT was, uh, you know, to your 
to your question, why I don't trade it, because it's kind of a 50-50 shot. It can be, it can be a positive uh, news release and the market can react negatively to it or vice versa. And that's why I don't like trading news. You just never really know unless you're straddling it on it with an options position. Put some Minecraft music on, trust me. <laughs> Ray Nando mentioning Minecraft, Darnell is mentioning that too. Is it copyright free? That's the key though, because if not, YouTube will get mad. Minecraft lo-fi, here's, here's a track. <laughs> Question now that you mentioned sales, how can I get clients, contractors, to buy PVC lines? Well, that's a good question. I didn't, I trade tech. So, I got someone that can give me PVC lines at 20% less than the market is. That's a good question, bull float. I'm not, I'm not totally sure on that. I would, I would sell software. Why, what's up? What's up, Dylan, thanks for the follow. Def not copyright free. <laughs> yeah, only, only copyright free goodies is what we're after here. <laughs> the vibes are gonna be immaculate. <laughs> yup. Yep. If you're looking for more long form content, right? So longer than the TikTok. I don't know if you found me here on TikTok. I'm posting more on the YouTube. I've got another video dropping on YouTube uh, today. But my goal this year is to post at least two videos a week on YouTube, just free game. Um, so if you wanna fill your, your YouTube feed with good content, uh, follow along. The link for that's also in my bio. LaFly, about to take lunch. Have a good weekend. Absolutely, we'll be back. Monday, we're here every day, 11 a.m. to 12.30 Eastern Standard Time. Have a great weekend, LaFly. Looking for short, 468.70. What's up, by VWAP. Spies VWAP. Thank you, sir. You got it. Uh, Andreas, are you in longs? What are you trading, Andreas? Tin Tam, thanks for the follow. What do we got here? What do we got? Okay, get two. SP five hundred. Uh, are you are you? To the downside or the upside, Andreas? I don't trust going long in. Yes, but calls are put. Sorry, I didn't know if you see my comment, but it's S&P 500. Both, really? Oh, it depends where you got in, Andreas. T E K Z M B Cha. Thanks for the follows. Oh no, I already took out my cell. Nice. Volume's dying out on the two minute. Yeah, some reversal candles. Looks like it wants lower. Just looking for another trade. I just signed up for a YouTube channel. Awesome. Awesome bull float. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, trying to share all the free game. How often are you live? Definitely want to tune in the future, Papio. Yeah, you bet. Uh, we're live every day. Yeah, every single day, 11 a.m. Eastern to 1230. We'll be wrapping up here in a second. <laughs> LMAO, imagine. Uh, Tommy Lee, thanks for the follow. What's this Spotify channel? So this is streaming instrumental beats, non-copyright music playlist 2023. <laughs> I think I'm going to add this one. I like this one. This came up when I looked for the Minecraft uh, <laughs> lo-fi. Frank Weaver, thanks for the follow. Made for a quick scout, but that's it, nice. Remember me saying I full ported spy calls on December 30th, LOL. <laughs> link your YouTube. Yeah, Golf Nuts, if you go to that profile, the link in my profile bio, it's right there. We'll show this for some of the people that were asking questions too. 
Here on mobile, it'll look a little different, but here is my profile bio, right? This is my account. You click this link, direct.me slash mind your growth. It'll take you to this page and ask you to go to this link. And that gives you access to everything. I have, I have everything linked there. YouTube, Instagram, it's down below as well. Uh, if you want in on the premium discord and mentorship, I can give you access there. Apex Trader Funding is having a 71% off deal as well. If you want a funded account, click that link. It'll take you right to it. And the mentorship, so we called out two killer trades today. We had an absolute heater yesterday for 11 points. 11 points. We call out every entry, every exit in the premium discord. And the mentorship, the lifetime, comes with the course that teaches my full strategy. Um and I'm doing one-on-one -on -one mentorship in there for a little bit longer. So if you're looking for uh, more structured learning, that's a great spot to do it. And I one-on-one -on -one mentor for, for the next little bit. I've just been getting busy, so we'll be killing the mentorship after a little bit. <clears throat> and I have been getting questions about I got a couple of questions on the TikTok for discounts because I mentioned that for somebody. So Reynando was gifting like crazy. And uh, I mentioned that I would give Reynando a discount. Um, I've got a 10% off code that I could give to folks. If folks are interested in that, I'm just, all I ask for is some, some crazy likes to go crazy with the likes and then send me a DM. <laughs> made for a quick scout, but that's it. Uh, let me read the comments here. Lost it all, made 700% portfolio in 2024 already. Nice, Alexander. KK. Going back to pre-market lows, ES 4710. Man, I subscribed. Awesome. Reynando, thanks for the gifts again. It's, too, it's very giving, Reynando. <laughs> Appreciate you. El Gringo, thanks for the likes. Ronnie, thanks for the follow. Spying going to 420, first two quarters. Okay, so Alexander, thanks for nuking down. Josh Turner says, how much is the full course and how much is the mentoring? There's a couple packages, Josh. Um, the link in my YouTube bio will just take you directly to my website. And that'll show you the, the different packages there. TFX, thanks for the follow. I'm gonna be right back. Give me like a minute and a half. I promote you as doing great, says Andreas on YouTube. Thank you, Andreas. Appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. We'll be right back in like a minute and a half. Alrighty, y'all, we back. We are back. Anyone know how low it will go? No one knows how low, unfortunately. That's why we trim along the way. Bear flagging, looks like it on the five here. Yeah. De facto with the thumbs up. Thank you on YouTube. 
So what I do like about continuing long, or sorry, continuing short, just seeing this now, sorry, it took me a second, but uh, man, if I was trading normally, I'd, I'd potentially be interested in this. This volume here to the downside, really aggressive, you know, comparative to the previous 15 minute candles, we continue to push down. Um, the key with catching a trade based on volume is a retest or a really clean entry. Maybe the nine EMA or after you break this previous day close. If you can do that, I think we're in for more, more to the downside. You ever trade after hours or on weekends? Not, not really. Yeah, not too much. Raynando, thanks for the likes again, man. <clears throat> Is it not worth it? The uh, So after hours and weekends, there's typically less volume. Yeah, I haven't had amazing luck trading, uh, trading after hours. I really haven't traded on weekends. Thanks for the likes. Oh, appreciate the likes coming through, y'all. Appreciate the love. It helps push this content out into the algorithm. Um, as mentioned earlier, you know we talked about a, a little discount that I have. If you're interested in that, 10% off of the mentorship or the Discord, um, I just appreciate likes, likes for it. <laughs> and then send me a DM, and I can send you the 10% off code. <clears throat> Yeah, market closes on the weekend. Andreas on YouTube. It does. Futures, you can trade on Sundays, though. It'll open back up on Sundays. I don't think I've ever taken a trade on a Sunday, though. It's my day of rest. <laughs> it's the Lord's Day. Ethan T, appreciate the likes. Tarther, appreciate the likes. I'm in here, one contract. I think we see more push down, says Caleb. Let's see it. If we break through this level, I, I think it'll be a pretty, pretty aggressive move. I hope. What I like about your channel is you really do read the comments and give tips. Good job. Thanks, Bullflow. I mean, that's the whole key here is to answer questions and help, help people uh, become profitable faster. Hoping to reach 467.11 at least. Sometimes people, all they want is that. Um, yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Raynando going nuts with the gifts. Raynando, thank you. Thank you. Tarther, thanks for sharing. Yeah, will we break down here or not? That's the question. Um, we'll probably be closing, closing down shop for the weekend here in a second. Hope you all have a fantastic weekend. It's snowing here in Utah. May hit the slopes. We'll see. Enjoy. Take some time. Journal your trades. Um, you know, make sure that you're looking back on what you've traded. It's good for a couple of reasons. The first is to give you confidence. Just like anything athletic, you need to get reps in. You know, you, you play basketball, you need to shoot that shot a thousand times, a couple thousand times for it to get really consistent. If you play soccer, you know, you want to work on your aim. You need to continue shooting over and over again. Trading is no different. You can go watch a million videos all you want, but you can't become a skilled athlete unless you're doing that same thing. And it works exactly the same with trading. So... Practice over and over and over again. Back test. That's why you journal your trades, that you're getting a rep in. You're practicing. Um, you're seeing what you did before. That's why people watch tape in athletics. So um, got to gotta review them over and over again. Take some time. Review your trades. Take some time away from the charts too. That's healthy. Uh, if you're interested in more structured learning, we have the mentorship that we've been talking about. That mentorship, the lifetime comes with one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me. Um, the full course that teaches a strategy and the Discord where we call out every trade that we take, daily watch list, you get that every single day. Beautiful, it's starting to break down. 
Caleb, I hope you're getting paid, man. <clears throat> and if you're interested in that little discount code and you were liking today, appreciate all the support. Um, shout outs to Reynando being probably the biggest supporter today with gifts and likes. Send me a DM and I can get you that uh, 10%, 10% off. Best time to visit Utah? It depends if you want, uh, you know, if you want snow, I'd wait till it snows a little bit more. It's been dry over here. Summers are good though at the lakes, of course. Should I trim or let it run? That previous day close is gonna be the key. You know, I would follow your risk reward parameters, but breaking that previous day close will be the key, I think. I'm off this though, y'all. De facto says agree 100% on YouTube. Thanks everybody for being here. As always, appreciate all of your support. Hope you'll have a great rest of the day and weekend. We'll see you back on Monday at 11 a.m.